Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a refresh, total declutter and reorganizing my office. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. All right, this behind my desk has gotten so out of control, but I need to get rid of all of this stuff and then reorganize all of these so that they're actually functional. Starting out, I'm just cleaning out this corner. A lot of it is stuff that didn't belong in here in the first place. And the same thing with these cubes. They've gotten out of control. There's so much stuff that does not even belong in my office, let alone in these cubes. So I'm just going through kind of getting rid of everything that I can get rid of and then just putting everything else to the side. Again, this is just all packaging and all stuff that needed a better home. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Don't mind the fact that I'm in sweatpants. I eventually changed into leggings, but this was a work from home day. And I decided to move these cubes up so that I had more floor space. I just felt like it was a better use of space in my office. So I'm hoping that this will be much more functional. And again, as I move everything, I clean everything. Every cube, the floor, anytime something moves, I'm cleaning it. Then it was time to work on my desk. This is just somewhere that I started throwing stuff out of the cubes, off of the other dresser. It's kind of just a dumping ground and it's not a good clean workspace. So I'm trying to make sure to go through every single nook and cranny when I'm going through this this time and do it right so they don't have to do it again. And then I moved over to the drawers and I start cleaning out all of the drawers, getting rid of things that I know I won't use and just organizing the stuff that I know that I will use. <laughs> These drawers are from my dresser. They have a ton of supplies and I wanna move all of the supplies over to the drawers next to my desk. I want all of my stuff to be in one place instead of being scattered around my office. So that is what I'm doing right now. You'll see here, I kind of changed this drawer around quite a few times, but it has my packaging supplies. This really helps me ship everything. It's all my thank you cards, the jewelry care cards, all of that, and I wanted it to be functional, so I did have to move it around quite a few times. And then I'm moving on to my desk drawers. These were such a disaster. I'm so happy with how they ended up turning out, but I had way, way, way too much stuff in here. A lot of it was like personal bills and things that didn't belong in my office. So now it's fully functional, has only the things that I need that I grab and go on a very daily basis. This corner is where I keep random packages that I receive from brands. It's stuff that I haven't gone through in a really long time, so I decided that it was time to go through the mountain of products, and I moved all of the products into piles of whether things I wanted to try out, things that I would include in a giveaway, and duplicates of products I already have. So now everything is put away and nothing is in my office. I don't need products in my office, so now they're all in my filming room. When I bought mailers last time, I bought so many because you got a discount if you ordered an absurd amount. And so I've had these boxes of them. I just opened my last box of them. So I was just putting them away and kind of putting overflow everywhere I could find places to put it. I 
ended up with a couple of empty drawers in this dresser and so now I'm just kind of trying to figure out what makes sense where. So here I'm filling up this drawer with tech stuff. I have tripods, my DSLR camera, and just some random tech accessories that I wanted to be in one place. And then the next drawer is um, all of this is shipping supplies. So I'm moving this out of there. I didn't want to take up that big drawer with the shipping supplies. So I put photo props in that drawer. All right, I just got more inventory bins, more of these bins. They're stackable. And I think I got 12, 12 more. So I need to finish clearing off those shelves. I'm almost done in here, kind of. I feel like it's looking a little bit messier again because I have everything that's out of its place is out right now. That makes no sense. Um, everything that needs a home is out. Everything's out of the drawers. So everything that's like in a place is in its forever home, if that makes sense. So now I do have kind of a lot of things that are just out that need to go to a home. But yeah, things are looking good. I need to get rid of this corner right here and clear off those shelves and then we're basically done two days later. I'm so excited to have these shelves be fully dedicated to inventory. They've always had other stuff on them as well, but now they're gonna be solely inventory, so I have more of these bins coming. I cannot wait to get them in and just have all of my inventory in one place. <laughs> is the overview of one side this is the overview of the other side so much less cluttered so let me just take you around re really quick i do still need to do some work in here patch the walls and repaint and i do need a new home for this cactus it was behind my desk but it needs more sunlight than sitting here and i want to repot it anyway so I just have a couple of plants on top, this gallery wall that I haven't ever updated. And then in the drawers, I have random shipping supplies, extra paper, and my plant, my next planner that starts at the beginning of the year. Top secret subscription box jewelry. These are boxes for the gift wrapping. And both of these are bubble mailers. So this one has all the gold. This one has gold and the silver, which I use for the subscription box, which this is overflowing, but I'm sending the subscription box in November. And so a lot of these back ones will be gone so I can put them in place in the next couple of weeks. This one has all of my camera equipment, extra tripods, just basically like a tech accessories. This has photo props. A lot of times I'll do a flat lay or I'll need just like a jewelry display or something so that everything will live here. In this corner, I have a full length mirror, which I actually work out in this mirror because I have enough room right here to work out. So I have my weights right there. Um, I don't know, these boxes are going, they're all, just need to be broken down and recycled and stuff. But anyway, I don't know if I wanna keep those weights there. They're super ugly. Maybe I'll put them in a bin or something so you can't see them. But it is convenient to have a mirror and be able to check my form. And then turning it this way, I have my chair. I have this shelving unit with all of the inventory. So I have a bunch of bins that are gonna have the holiday collection in it. And I actually need to order some more bins and then start putting the names of everything on there. So this is kind of how the inventory is looking right now. I moved all of the disc bracelets down. So I just need to get another, I need quite a few more bins so that I can put them down on the bottom shelf and have enough for the holiday um, collection. And then I have my acrylic calendar. And over here, this looks so much better. This is some holiday collection stuff, my printer, um, and just some random display stuff. All of this is supplies that needs to be made in the next couple of weeks. Some mailers, again, I have like an overflow right now, but I need to pack orders tonight anyway. And then this bin has extra um, holiday packaging. I've got some supplies in these ones, disc bracelet beads. I don't have much on my desk. In this drawer, I just have all of my office supplies. And then this drawer has my notebooks and my planner. I cannot believe it took me two full days to get this place completely cleaned out. I'm so happy with how it turned out. 
I'm hoping that this organization system will be able to last me a while. I feel like I keep having to change it because my needs change and I need more room and inventory and just different things that I need. So yeah, hopefully this one will last me for a while. I finally have nothing, no junk. I don't have any personal stuff. I don't have like my own personal bills or any of my, I used to have all of my like cards and stuff from Adam. All of my personal stuff is out of here, which I feel like is such a good idea. I don't need that stuff cluttering in my office. So I have it in a place that's more appropriate. So very, very excited about it. <sighs> I'm so happy with how it turned out. It took me two almost full days of getting rid of stuff. I had so much extra product and garbage and stuff in here. So I feel so relieved. It looks so good. And yeah, I will link anything that I can down below in the bottom bar. Let me know if you like videos like this, decluttering and organizing and all of that. I will keep doing them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.